so um, I'm currently at the Common, which is like a mountainside in Pontypridd. As you can see behind me is Pontypridd. I'm actually sat on the floor, kind of a weird angle, but everywhere else I was being blinded by the sun. And I'm a bit out of breath because I've just come up here for a run. I brought my camera with me because I thought I would film some of the scenery because it's stunning and also i wanted to talk to you about preparing for uni so it's summer now so some of you might have already had your confirmed offers some of you might be waiting to have confirmed offers after you have your results for a level so number one is um you can have a look on the usw website at your course and they'll give you more in-depth um, information about your course modules um, topics and things like that so um, you can have a look at that and then you can kind of start to research more independently on what the modules might be about this will give you a head start to university because you will know what to expect on some of your modules and some of them you may actually already know about so you know you're already off to a good start if you've researched the modules okay so I'm kind of at the corner of the common now um, but behind me you can see Pont Breathe and also you can see True Forest and Glintaff campus so I'm just going to show you those now I'm actually really like blinded by this sunlight okay so let me try and find them for you so all the way over there that is the Glintaff campus and then if I, let me try and find it, where is True Forest? So True Forest, I think that's the accommodation for True Forest. All the way up there in the distance. Yeah, it's quite a pretty view. I love coming up here. And then over there you can see um, Anisang Harrod Park, which is another really nice place to visit. And then Sainsbury's. Good old Sainsbury's. <laughs> Secondly, how you can prepare for university, I kind of touched on this in my other video on this channel, Arriving at University I think it was called, but you can obviously buy things for your accommodation or um, if you're actually staying at home you can buy your files and things like that, but that's a good um, place to start. In the summer there's usually, or at the end of summer there's usually sales on stationery and things like that, so um, yeah now is a good time to get to start buying for things like that. You don't want to be like me and turning up to university on the first day without a pen or notepad because I had to go to um, a little corner shop and paid like five pounds for a pen and a notepad. Who does that? Me. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not a good start. So I've just had a really productive workout. Um, I tend to like count lengths of the, the common because it's easier than counting distance and as well like when I've got something to compare it to. So like today I did 12 laps. I know next time I can try and improve on it. It's quite satisfying. Oh, I'm dead though. <laughs> I'm absolutely dead. Also, it's really nice up here because it's usually really quiet. The only people that really come up here are people running or walking their dogs. So it's really nice. Your third way you can prepare is by talking to other um, people who might be on your course. There's usually like Facebook pages, like Facebook chats, Facebook groups. Um, so if you can find one of those and then maybe you might know somebody on your course or something like that, just try and talk to them. Um, just so that on the first day it's not as daunting, you know a few familiar faces then and it's not as scary. And also, if you go into um, a course which is more vocational, like teaching for me, um, you could try and get some placements or experience in that area over the summer. Um, obviously if you're doing primary studies, the schools won't be open in the summer, but we don't start university until like middle of September. So you could go in the first week or so. Um, also if you're doing like a law degree, you could try and get some experience in like a law firm or something like that and this will just give you a really um, really good start to university because you can kind of know what to expect then and lastly if you are moving to a new place um, you can prepare for university by visiting the place get into grips with the area so you know what to expect and then when you move there you're not completely clueless and lost as to where you're about to live so yeah those are my tips I hope they've um, been useful I hope you might use some of them um, because obviously university is very daunting if it's all new to you if you've never been to university before it can be scary so being prepared is just my number one tip um, just try and be as prepared as you can and that way the start of university won't be as scary and it'll be a lot easier I'm gonna say goodbye now because um, I'm going out with my friends later so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel USW bloggers um, We've got Twitter and Instagram, so make sure you follow us on one of those and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you in the next one guys, bye!